Chinese calligraphy is the art form of China's educated elite. So for the last almost 2,000 years, this has been the art form practiced by China's ed educated elite. All members of the educated elite have some capability at calligraphy because they have to know calligraphy in order to pass the imperial exams. We all know that, that there, are, there are people that will read your character from your, your handwriting. The Chinese take that to the next level, and they say that if you don't have great calligraphy, you can't be a good person. So actually, when you take your imperial exams, part of the exams is judging your calligraphy. And if you don't have good calligraphy, you can't be a good person. You don't pass the exams. So every member of China's educated elite is at least competent and actually quite good at calligraphy. What we have here are those that rise above being just good. These are truly great. And we're really fortunate not just to have great calligraphers, but also great works by these great calligraphers. So it's one of those art forms that has a lot of layers, a lot of meaning, a lot of depth, and a long, long tradition. And that makes it a very complex and fascinating subject. One of the artists in this exhibition, we have two works by this artist, is a man named Wen Zhengming. And he lived in the 1500s. And he took the imperial exams, and he was ranked at the third rank in his calligraphy. So that's not passing. That's actually not good enough to pass. So for the time after that, every day he did the thousand character essay. This is a traditional uh, text, which actually does have a thousand characters, none of which are repeated. So it's a thousand separate characters. He did that 10 times a day until he perfected his calligraphy in the different scripts. 